So SSL stands for uh, Space Systems Laurel. Uh, it's one of the major uh, satellite manufacturers uh, in the U.S. They approached us uh, with an interesting problem. You've probably seen on television where uh, a spacecraft is going up into orbit uh, and it uh, has these separation periods where it gets smaller and smaller and smaller as it gets up into, into space. Um, so these separations are caused by explosions on the spacecraft. That explosion has never been measured in the past, so they wanted to build a system that would measure uh, the shock and vibration of those explosions. Um, so uh, Nuvation was tasked uh, to, to build that data acquisition system. So it goes kind of in the center of the spacecraft. So spacecraft has kind of a, a central portion and usually um, the spacecraft have uh, solar panels that fold out so it looks like big butterfly kind of wings. So this goes in the center portion of the spacecraft. As, as a lot of our projects, we, this was a turnkey design, so we started with uh, essentially understanding the requirements uh, from the client. So we worked very closely uh, with the client to put together uh, all the, the things they wanted the system to do. So establishing you know, the number of sensors, the type of sensors, the, the ranges, uh, the kinds of things we're dealing with, and understanding the, the specifics of uh, operating in space as well. Basically takes sensor inputs uh, that are on the spacecraft and then uh, takes those inputs from the sensor uh, measures those and then communicates that information back down to the people on Earth. So uh, um, we did uh, design the engineering prototype and that took about a year to do the first one. So we did everything from architecture, uh, all the hardware design, board level design, FPGA design and software design. So for the entire system. And then also worked with our mechanical engineering partner uh, and built a space rated uh, box that it goes into. So I always call this project the Box in Space Project. One of the interesting things, and, and I never thought about it before this project, is that you know, how do you cool something in space? You can't put a fan in like your computer, right? There's no air. So it makes no sense to have a fan. I, I know it's, it's, it, sounds, it sounds obvious, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so how do you get heat away? And, and, and this thing is drawing a lot of, uh, dissipating a lot of power. So all the heat has to be essentially uh, channeled out uh, by conduction. So the whole chassis is designed in a way uh, and, and the PCB is designed in a way that actually conducts heat away uh, from the components, from the PCB. It was, very, it was really cool. The ability to see a satellite in person, it's different than seeing it on TV. So we went into their, what they call high bay room, and they have satellites in this room that they're building, and they're full, these huge satellites. And so you get, you, you get a real flavor for, wow, the, the amount of electronics that are going into this thing and that this thing's going to be packaged up and strapped onto a rocket and shot up into space. It's crazy to think about, right? Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool knowing that, uh, yeah, this thing is in, in orbit right now, actually. Uh, we have a few of them up there. 